the drive from Waco to Austin might be short, but the contrast of these two cities is vast. Waco, calm and quiet. Austin, far from it. Austin stands unique in the Lone Star State for its conversions of music, tech, film, and culture. And as creatives from across the globe descend on that unique capital of Texas, so does the innovative sport of disc golf. The Open at Austin returns for its second year with a bit of a twist, a course reworking that is earning early praise from across the field. With a fresh balance of open fairways and wooded precision, the Harvey Pennant Golf Course is earning its place on tour for years to come. The season is young, yet there's much to prove. New scripts waiting to be written, rhythms still to be set, and the first major of the year is right around the corner. It's spring in Texas. Who knows what's on the horizon? The 2024 Open at Austin starts now. Welcome to the Open at Austin presented by Flight Factory Discs. We are playing at Harvey Panic Disc Golf Course in beautiful Austin, Texas. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two hot geeks. Honk. The open course at Harvey Panic at the Open at Austin <laughs> presented by Flight Factory. <laughs> yeah. Nailed it. I think that's about right. Yeah. Feeling pretty open about it. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, just a quick reminder, next week we're doing our first ever Jomez cast during U U.S. Women's Disc Golf Championships, the first major of the year, and we get to have Big Germ there chilling, watching the live coverage and hanging out with you guys. If you guys have questions, you want to know some more info, come hang with Germ at Jomez cast, first time ever. And on our feature card today, we have Holland Hanley. Uh, last year, she was... Not in the fairway too much, but birdieing 76% of the holes, which is wild. That's some crazy scrambling. Paige Pierce, Texas native, 30% birdie rate, 34% circle one in regulation, 60% circle two in regulation, and last year's winner. Yep. At this event. The inaugural. But the course is awesome very different this year. Much different. Kristen Tatar, you know her. She's winning again. She birdied 38% of the holes last year, landed in circle two 66% of the time, and kept it clean in the fairway. Our final person on the feature card today is Valerie Mandahano. 18% of her circle two putts going in, 73% fairway hits, and 26% birdie rate in 2023, and that is an impressive stat. Like we said earlier, this is a new kind of a new layout. I think we only had two exactly identical holes yeah. from last year and the flow is very different yes and we love the changes here in the booth the geese are a fan starting uh, with hole <laughs> starting with hole one 320 feet a hyzer over a beautiful little creek ravine uh no out of bounds that you're really worried about unless you blast one a little bit too far past it's right about the 420 foot mark it's an elevated basket we had some wind today so that's the only thing you're super worried about oh hey Let's uh, go chase it, chase in with the check card. Mm -hmm. We sure will chase him right in to the bullseye. Oh, baby. What'd you throw? <laughs> that is a uh, fission photon. It's weird that no one threw a whale sack in your run-up and you were able to park it. <laughs> For anyone wondering what that means, go watch the Jomez practice round from this week. The geese special guested. First on our feature card page, Pierce. This is a stock hyzer at 320 feet. You just want to get something close. Circle one is great. Yeah, not too hard of a hole. Really the first, I would say five before the woods are ones you can get all of them. Like you want to be two or three down through those, but realistically anyone in the field can birdie the first five before the woods. I don't want to say easily, Hole two is hard. But yeah, it is, but it's it's they're all gettable. But the every other one is like, not gimmies, but it's gettable by everyone easily. Kristen throwing a rive into the circle. 
So there were uh, there were many talks during the week about how bad the weather was supposed to be. There was potential for really strong thunderstorms today. I would say innumerable talks. <laughs> That's all anyone was talking about. That is about. all everyone was talking about. So everyone's got their rain gear today. But we woke up this morning. There was a little thunderstorm that rolled through at around 5, 6 a.m. Um, and then it was sunny when we got out to the course today. Downright so. warm. Mm-hmm. Calling up first for her birdie bid. Oh, okay. Count it. <laughs> Hole one jump putting on an elevated basket. We love that. Holland, a new member on Team Flight Factory this year, a last minute presenting sponsor, and we appreciate them stepping up. Valerie comes up just a bit shy on her birdie attempt. Kristen, it's like this tree might be in her way a little bit. Mmm, splashes out. Caught a little bit of the DGN live earlier, and I think, is this true? Des said that Holland hasn't done worse than third this year, which is crazy. Hmm. Did she get back to back? Back to back seconds, yeah. Seconds, I yeah. Think so. Or maybe a third and a oh, second. Oh, a third, yeah. yeah. So there, that's crazy. Paige misses kind of an awkward straddle putt to start. What's also crazy is the top three, to sometimes five players the last two events have averaged 1,000 rated. Yeah, I think that's going to become the new norm. Mm hmm at the last ratings update as well, just to keep y'all up to date with the FPO gossip. Kristen Tatar at 999. Ooh. Might be the first ever woman to reach 1,000 rated at the next ratings update in a month. We're all, we're all hoping for it. What a putt for Holland to start. The only birdie on the card. And 13 people got it out of our field of, I believe, 55 this week. Hole two, a bit different than in past years we are throwing across this ravine. You're not too worried about crossing, though you can pull it over to the right and get caught up in that OB. Then you want to round the corner. Uh, you can just pitch up if your first shot isn't very far, and then just take a fairly simple birdie. Um, your third shot going across the green, there is OB deep. It's not easy by any means, but the layup distance wise, it's only 680. So you can really chop the hole up into small little shots if you want. Um, totally an eagle potential here. Uh, even, I don't know, even the mid-sized arms could get this for an eagle if they had two phenomenal shots. <laughs> Evelina looks like she hits the advertisement wall and bounces back in. I believe, oh, she's going for eagle mm -hmm. here. Oh, she yeah. parks it for uh, Eagle. I know. Did you see her run-up start off the wall, too? Mm-hmm. Wow. Cool highlight. Katrina for birdie. She was also on the chase feature card. And look how she started her round out. She goes birdie, birdie to start. Yeah, definitely want to pad them early. We start to go into the woods at hole six. Mm-hmm. And those are pretty tough. Evelina with some great little padding. An eagle on hole two. That's one way to get two under through two. Um, this was a tailwind, so I really like the forehand play. The backhand, as we saw Evelina throw, kind of gets stable and heads towards that OB. I would say normally uh, most women trying to do a turnover line, just a little bit tough in the wind today. Yeah, you don't want to get too aggressive here because that corner does poke out a little bit. Looks like Paige was trying to take a lot off of that and just lay up and it still gets stable, skips OB. I really love the uh, distance sidearm play here. I think backhand is super challenging unless you're doing a placement shot. And even yeah. with those placement shots, it's so easy to trickle out. It is. And this is a, the opposite win that we practiced with. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's a little bit a little bit tough. Like, you had to take a lot off of the backhand shot to land safe, and then you couldn't really do the eagle play. Here's the sidearm play. Still pushed the oh. OB a tiny bit, but I love it. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. They Kristen's also set up to go across if she wants to. Definitely. They pulled the OB a little tighter in from last year mm -hmm. as well. It was a lot more forgiving. Yeah, but it was kind of a weirder tee shot, like the angle was. I like this better. Me too. 
There was also a lot more chance of landing in that little rock way we can see Any on the of left those side. Three. Yep. The the last one there on the left is really deep. Yeah. Like it's you know, a couple, couple feet deep. Paige's shot must have been a little blocked by the tree. I'm surprised to see her not go for that, but it's a super smart play, just gonna play for par. Even Holland laying up laying up a little short. It's fine. If you're tucked right, it's tricky. Mm-hmm. Kristen probably going to try to go for the skip across the green. I like that she's pulling it out to the side here. There's a lot of safe area over there. So it's an aggressive play and an easy birdie, but not hyper aggressive. Yep. She's right outside circle too. Yeah, Holland's layup was <laughs> really <laughs> close to the OB. She goes big on her third shot. I like how she breaks the hole up, but she's still going to have some work left to do if she wants a birdie. Putting kind of downhill at another out of bounds line. Paige likely gonna take the right side hyzer gap. Looks a little early out of her hand. Oh no. Yeah, I think that Oh, it's okay. green. Okay. Cool. Yeah, definitely didn't just came came out early, it looked like. Valerie going standstill, her fourth after the OB stroke. Nice. Yeah, this is a great risk-reward hole. You can go for the eagle. You can go for the short birdie. But OB everywhere if you're not on top of your game. Yeah, and this little sloped green just to the right side of the basket does add another little element. Yeah, this is a pretty intimidating putt here for Holland. I like that she took a little bit of pace off there. Stays inbounds. Page not quite able to rescue the par here with the OB stroke, but she gave it a go. Oh no, that thing rocketed off the cage. Oh man. Horrible break. I think Holland might be choosing to re, while well, checking to see if it's out of bounds. Oof. Barely, too. She's just going to re-putt from the closer putt instead of going to the new lie since it's out of bounds. And senders at this time, but unfortunately it's going to be for a double bogey. Yeah, brutal. And this whole, there was 23 birdies on the field and two eagles, so it averaged at under par for the field, a third of a stroke under par, but still it's one that can bite you. Everyone I talked to has really enjoyed all of the course changes. I mean, not only is there's no shuttling the way that they made hole one is closer to the parking lot. The flow is way better. I think they made six new, completely new holes, mm -hmm. um, carved out some spots in the woods and Ad just adjusted a lot adjusted. of the, mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of the old holes. I think there's only two that were the same yeah. tee pad to basket. And a lot are recognizable and have some of the same elements, but are just now improved. Yep. They did a, the Texas... Uh, team did a real or the Austin team did a really great job on the course this year. Let me guess, did Natalie Ryan get the other eagle? She sure did. You see, she was three down through two. What? Yeah, <laughs> that's a lovely way to start. Uh, another par three uphill for par hole three, 275 feet. Plays a little closer to the 300 mark. Got to get over this out of bounds green, but they're so nice this year and took away the OB line on in the shul on the right hand side. So you can be aggressive if you want to take a little bit of a straighter, more hyzer approach to the disc. The basket is moved a little bit shorter, only about 15 feet. Instead of being up on a little plateau, it is on a very steep slope. So you got to come in flat if you're laying up. Checking in on our second feature card, Evelina throws a sidearm and hits metal. Uh -huh. We all thought it was in. What a clean looking run. And I'm glad it stayed close too. Wow. This one is the first one that really feels like you got to get it. Yep. You just have to. It's 275. It's also the first one that we felt pretty strong wind on our card as soon as we started getting out from the corner where hole one and two is you could start feeling that that wind gust a little that's interesting i thought it was it was pretty strong on two i thought like on the tee shot mm -hmm. i think that's why some of the shots we 
But it picked up and changed. A and nice strong you know tailwind, though. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we started getting a little heady. Oh, interesting. A little weird. Yeah, Valerie skips into circle two. She's going to have a pretty steep uphill putt. Risky, too. If you hit cage, you can roll. And there's that out-of-bounds green right there. Paige, a little late on the release this time. This is what Madison was referring to. That used to be out of bounds, and now it's safe. So Paige will have a birdie putt. She's pin high. The old green skip play. Getting all the way into circle one. Valerie up first. Let's see if she wants this one. That was a real run. I like that she kept it kind of low into the wind. Age lining up her birdie putt. She is outside the circle. This is a tricky little spot because if you don't quite get it into the chains, it can go way down the hill. Paige throws a nice little Anheuser angle on the putt and finds dead center. Great bounce back, too, after the last hole. See if that gets her around moving. Holland with a great birdie. Her pace on her putt the last couple weeks is looking fast. Yeah, but in the wind, that's a good thing usually. Mm -hmm. Though it did really ramp off that last basket, so. Valerie makes good on the comebacker. See, Kristen threw her tournament fortress to land here. Holland threw an ESP Athena. Both great birdies. Uh, and then Paige. Oh, I don't have her list. Paige threw a disc also and had a really nice putt. <laughs> 29 people got this one. That's 55% of the 53 competitors. Wow, a lot of people three down. I really like this change to hole four. It's a downhill par three, 350 feet, shorter and a different angle than last year, but I think still recognizable. OB green here, pretty large uh, green. And then OB that wraps behind the basket comes in pretty fast. If you throw something a little too fast, um, like a hyzer that gets a skip at the end. The nice thing here is you can throw a mid range or even a putter when it's calm. But this is where, I don't know for you guys, but it was, just a gusty headwind. Uh, a lot of ladies probably disking up here. Evelina throws a slower disc still. She threw a putter, I believe. But I like the height and hyzer she's giving it. Yeah, she just wow. went right along the tree line perfectly. That's amazing, because a lot of discs were flipping over into those trees, and there's OB over there as well. Own, of course, with the destroyer. Comes in hot right at the basket, but checks Ooh. up. Impressive, yeah, right? Yeah. It <laughs> doesn't ever happen. <laughs> I mean, I think she gave it enough height where it dug a little bit. If you're, you know, throwing more nose down, you can get that huge flare skip. Katrina Heiser flipping into the headwind. Very impressive. And it comes in nice and smooth and soft. Wow. Mm hmm All right. Oh, three in a row for own. Three in a row for Evelina, but for four stro good strokes. <laughs> Three in a row for four. Mm -hmm. What do you, an eagle and two birdies? Are we are we at the regional bird status yet? Oh man, it's it a hard to, I feel like it needs to be a special regional bird, <laughs> extra special. Oh, that looked like a little bit of a slip there from Kristen. Still really good pace on this sidearm though. She's going. That was a grand glory from Kristen. She gets a nice little roll as well. If you've got it, I think the forehand is the play here. There's lots of room on that left side. Also, the right side OB for the skip doesn't come into play as much as the opposite side for the backhand. Paige going spike oh. Kaiser. That dropped fast. Safe though.
pollen work in the right side. Same Athena as the last hole. Great shot and gets a friendly little kick. I think she would have been safe, but maybe closer to the edge of the circle. Ooh. Ooh. Nice, pretty little hyzer flip. Oh, gorgeous. Just the, the perfect speed coming into the green. Valerie with her ESP onyx there. Paige, pretty fortunate to be inbound. Yeah. Look and how spiky that was. A very long downhill look, though. Oh, <gasps> baby, that oh, looked great. Oh, my goodness. Kristen for three in a row. Too calm. Dead center. Colin moves back under par. And what a bounce back. Yeah, no kidding. Valerie finally adding some green to her scorecard. And Paige with the par there. Did you have a number in mind today, Matt, of like what a good score would be? I knew we were going to see people under par, mm -hmm. of course. I knew I was going to be happy with around even par, but I feel like we could easily see a seven or eight. Mm -hmm. I think it's out there. I think if it was calm, we could consider the double digits. Mm -hmm. In the wind, I wasn't sure. Yeah. The, the I was surprised, honestly. And the wind being different from the practice exactly. rounds, too. This hole is a good example of just a terrifying change in wind direction. <laughs> uh, in practice, we had a tailwind, which was lovely. Um, today, we had more of a head right to left crosswind and trying to land it in that little landing zone where the drop zone is, is really difficult. The landing zone is sloped in some areas. You can easily find yourself accidentally cut rolling into out of bounds. Distance sidearm, I think, is the play for that. And then once you land safely there, it's really easy to get up and down for a birdie. You can see Katrina, she lands safe off her drive. This is her second shot to the green, and it's just a little chip hyzer with a mid. I like this hole a lot because you can do so many different plays off the tee, uh, and then that just dictates you know, how aggressive does your second shot need to be. You can also just go around and play for par. Evelina's drive went so far here. So she had a, just a putter approach, but she was just on the money on the green today, canning putts. Oh, man. She's got an eagle and three in a row. Mm -hmm. You know, a very special <laughs> regional bird. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Katrina gets another one. That's four down through five. Wow. I think sidearm is the play if you have it. What about the golden-cheeked warbler? <laughs> Love it. Yeah. A nice migratory bird. <laughs> yeah, sidearm's definitely the safest. If you don't quite have enough power on it, it can find one of those funny little pockets of OB. Um, Holland taking this a little more to the right than Kristen, which is absolutely fine. It's totally safe over there and not messing with the out-of-bounds on the left at all. It just extends the second shot, but she's good for it. Smooth shot from Valerie. That's a pretty scary backhand. Yeah, I kind of like the mid play, just something that's gently turning, but you have to give it height, and that's scary because those branches really are hanging down pretty low. I like the hyzer on the right side, but the boys bullied me out of it in the practice round. That's what <laughs> I did today. Don't let those dummies bully yeah, you. Yeah, it went much worse because of it. Paige landing right next to the drop zone. She's in a great spot. Nice slow speed disc. Kristen going for another sidearm, back to back here, flexing it to the green. Ideally, you want to land on the short side of the hill and let it just kind of dead end into that, but you see a lot of players uh, on the edge of circle one having to come back. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to leave this one short. Mm -mm. Really powerful looking sidearm from Holland, super smooth. Same spot. Mm-hmm. Oh, Valerie going forehand also. Mm. 
Looks like the pace is better to land close. You oh, sit down. Oh, come on. Dang, and that's the risk. Rather, he will get to take it from up there and have a putt to save par. Tough break. Paige leaves it really short. Um, I don't know if she crossed. It looks like she knows that she didn't. Ugh. And still with a little work left to do to even save bogey. Only about a third of the field birdied this one. I kind of thought it would play a little easier than that. But look at this comeback putt. Holland's putting right towards out of bounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you with can the see same. how much pace she took off of it. Oh, wow. Man. <laughs> that was smooth. Okay. Four in a row without the eagle. Is that a different bird? <laughs> oh, yeah. We do need to have more than one bird. Oh, boy. Here we can do this. For those of you who have no idea what we're talking about... Uh, three in a row is a turkey. We like to call four in a row a regional bird. Valerie unable to save her par after the OB stroke. Here's Paige for a bogey. Just a step inside the circle and she comes up low. Also, for those of you who haven't been tuning in recently, uh, Paige coming off of a really significant ankle injury last year. Um, still in the process of healing, getting better and stronger every day, though. Kristen, four in a row. Four down through five is so freaking good. Not as good as five down through five, Evelina. And this is the best we've seen her putt look in the last three events. Mm -hmm. uh, That's true. So far, she is lights out. Well, six, we go into the woods here. This is a technical par four at 535. You can take this backhand route. There's a mandatory on the right. There's OB on the right as well. So I like the flex sidearm play, or if you throw the backhand, you want to fade more to the left. Second shot, I don't know if we're going to see birdies on this. It is so guarded. I think the only way we're going to see a birdie is if there's a straight pushing forehand drive that finishes late around the corner. And then you still have a lot of trees to navigate to get up to the pin. Um, most it's a, it's ladies like a playing straight this, shot too. A yeah. scary straight shot. Most ladies playing this one for par. That is the line I like to the outside of those trees and then fade back in. Kristen, just a little bit inside. I saw Holland in practice go the straight forehand, her and Ella. And that's just a little bit pulled. And they both got so far that they could think about birdies, but they're probably the two best in the game at that particular shot. I love the standstill play from Valerie, but if she nicked that tree, she'd find OB real fast. So um, what a nice little squeaky shot. I feel like that tree is the one that blocks all of the black, the backhands. Yep. Ooh, putter. Pretty from Paige as well. Little fierce shot from Paige. But look how close she had to play it to that OB line. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of these, we're going to do three woods holes in a row, and the sidearm lines are kind of the predominant play, or the ideal play, rather. Holland cutting this around the corner. Does a pretty good job of it, but gets caught up. Kind of an aggressive play from Holland. Yeah, more than kind of. Kristen probably just going to chip something around this group of trees. Strong chip. Strong chip. Still going to have to deal with some trees in her third shot. Car no. feels so good on this one, though. Yes. It's I, it's a tweener. It's almost a five. Yeah, a little bit longer than it would be. Ooh, Valerie, not enough turn. She's going to be in the rough over there. Cage is second going forehand. That looks solid. It's maybe 100 feet away. Wow, these tee shots were a lot better than everyone on my card. They're closer than I could have imagined. I mean, this is Holland's third. This is where most of my card landed for the third. And that was so good. Yeah, super good. It was unbelievable. Dead straight. Landed soft. Kristen going to go underneath 
this branch, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. Underneath at the highest point. <laughs> that was great. Still in circle two, though, with some work left for par. Valerie in a terrible spot oh, here. Oh, wow. This this averaged, this averaged hole averaged at one full stroke over par. I'm not surprised. Yeah, 77% of the field taking a bogey or worse. Yeah, par felt like a birdie. A party. Wow. Valerie having to pitch out, throws a nice smooth standstill approach shot nearly to the bullseye, but that's for bogey. Paige still having to chip up to the green. Love the touch sidearm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't get the most favorable skip, but Paige is inside the circle putting for her par. I'm so curious if anyone birdied this. There was only one. Am I past spoiler time? Yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> well, these are all for pars or okay. Rebecca Cox got a birdie. Heck yeah, Rebecca. The only one of the day. I know I always say this, but gosh, that's a good one. Paige and it looks like it, it looks like it was parked too, because it was only wow. one person parked. I wonder what she threw off the tee. Paige came up low on her par attempt, Holland with the par. That's taken strokes on people. Well, a stroke. It averaged five. <laughs> Yeah, the first and third holes that we play in the woods are definitely the most challenging. Also known as six and eight. Yep. <laughs> we could call them that. We if, could. If we wanted to. Yeah. Um, and we will. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you, when I'm telling people about my round, I'm like, yeah, you know the third woods hole? And actually they do know. <laughs> they, they, do they, know. they do know. They that actually know. That is how do. we talk about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. A little bit of a scoring spread here on our feature card right now. Um, and that's kind of how it is. Especially as we do go through this wooded track, it can really be some separation. The second wooded hole. Oh, this is you. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> hole seven. Also the second wooded hole at 305 feet. There's some options here. You can go backhand up the middle, uh, at kind of a more straight shot. You can go a flexy backhand to the left of the middle tree. You can go forehand or backhand flex or hyzer. Um, it's just what you want to do here. <laughs> there's so many <laughs> options. Uh, there's an OB line on the right-hand side. That's what you're really worried about. The left side is no OB, but Brambly, and you don't want to go in there. Brambly. Evelina looks like she took a bogey on the last hole. Ha pulled this one too far to the right. Mm-hmm. Do we know where we're going here? You know, you never actually do know. Oh, okay. <laughs> look at her smile. I know. She got away with one here. And look at that huge circle two putt. That was deep in circle two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Nice little What'd you bounce say? Back. Just do whatever you want? Yep. Look at all That's the options. Advice. Ooh, that is not a good one. This is one where I think the OB is not really necessary or could be farther over to the right, just extra punishing. Love the sidearm. Hmm, a little early. Yeah, it, and I can't quite decide whether right side or left side of the main tree is the better for sidearm. I think right side flex. Right side flex, I think is. I watched Own do a backhand flex on the left side. Yeah, that's what I do too. Oh, really? Wait, on the on the, on the left. left side of the tree, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's. I, I didn't know if that was a common play. Yeah. Everyone does everything. Everyone does it all. <laughs> but basically, that one middle tree is in the perfect position. Yeah, they left it there and just nodded in satisfaction. <laughs> they sure did. Paige going to have to do some scrambling from the edge of the rough on the left side. And it's pretty brutal over there. But she has a nice little gap. And Man, that's great. Great angle control from Paige there. Perfect disc selection, too, to get that little skip. Holland throwing three with that out of bounds skip. She's going to minimize the damage and take a single bogey there. Kristen did stay in bounds off the drive, even with that tree hit, and she's laid right up there for par. 
this hole averaged just over par. There was only seven birdies out of 53 competitors. And I think I haven't gotten this one yet in practice or in the tournament, and I think this one would feel great to get. It would feel great. It's definitely easier than the first and the third wood <laughs> <woods> holes, uh <-huh. laughs> but still tough. Yeah. That one tree, man. It's very re a very rewarding 300 feet to cover. Richly rewarding. Richly. And this is why you want to pad your score coming into these woods holes. You know that you're probably going to take at least a bogey somewhere. Mm -hmm. And they stack up really easily as they well. They can, yeah. Kristen leading our card, but in a tie for fourth. Ooh, Kemp look. Merch, five down through seven. Juliana Corver tied with Evelina at four down. Wow, mm -hmm. shredding. The third woods hole, AKA hole eight, par four, 570, really difficult. Uh, you can throw this backhand line, but it's touchy. I like the forehand to the left. You wanna land somewhere right around here. And then it's just the world's longest tunnel after that. Uh, OB left comes into play. There is OB right, but you have to get all the way through the woods, I think, to find it. So hopefully you don't. Uh, it comes a little bit closer as we get to the pin. Par feels great on this one. It is really hard to get far enough on your tee shot and in a good enough placement to think about a birdie. Possible, but the I feel like no one's even going for a landing zone. You're just trying to get as far as possible in bounds on the drive. Definitely, it, because it's scary here to get far enough because you're throwing directly at an out of bounds line. Um, you can kind of rely on, I think ideally the play is to hope to get some good ground play yep. and get that skip. But Valerie catches that one guardian tree that you're thinking about trying to get around. And with the mulch the way that it is, because this is such a freshly cut out couple of holes, um, you don't always get reliable ground play. You can get weird forward skips. You can get just a little dead zone where you get no skip. So you, you can't really bank on getting a perfect hyzer skip. Yeah. I do think Valerie threw it pretty well. Mm -hmm. Colin, maybe. <sighs> Same one. I, yep. God, it's, we've all done it. Yep. I still think that's the safest play, though. Yep. I agree. Paige is trying to get likely to the mouth of the tunnel. Just throwing a fierce. It's a nice controlled putter shot. She'll be lined up to go for the par. This is another one where I think a birdie feels like an eagle. Yeah, it, it's, again, averaged at one full stroke over par. Instead of 77% of the field bogey or worse, 69% bogey or worse. So it's Oof. still still played tough. All three of these holes we are playing, they're all new. We're all playing the same pads as the MPO. So we're just, you know, we're feeling it out. Mm -hmm. We're seeing what, what we need to do. Valerie gets caught. Yeah, weird stance and just... Catches one of those fairway trees. Holland going huge here. Huge. Right at an OB line, but thankfully gets a little left side kick. I think it was going to fade either way, but yeah, if she got a, a kick the other direction. Yeah, that's what I mean. Could be a nightmare. Ooh. Look at Valerie throwing all sorts of smooth sidearms today. Oh, Dang. oh my God, robbed. So close. Page going backhand fierce again. An Anheuser line. And Ooh. that's another one. That's kind of I think that's a third oh. one we've seen just a little bit early, not quite turned enough out of her hand. Thankfully doesn't quite kick all the way to OB, but it is close. Kristen's third going sidearm pulls it to the left just a touch and gets caught. I think she's in circle two. Page. Oh, yeah, I was forehand there. Forehand roller land. I was there as well. And the forehand roller is tough, too, because there's a little corner tree that gets in the way. And this is so mulchy. Plus, yeah, as you were saying, I mean, the mulch is just <gasps> sticks, really. Like, they are big pieces. What a great out and a good catch by one of those trees. Let's see it again. Yeah, the mulch was forgiving. And also the uh, pre-mulch gave a nice kick at the end. But Paige really, oh, she <laughs> went through the tiny V. Are you kidding It me? was a good angle, but she, it that... That gap is half an inch wide. That's and nuts. That would have gone a mile past you. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Ooh, 
Kristen runs the putt hard, but thankfully it doesn't go too far past. Valerie got caught on this last tree on her approach, a little bit robbed. It'd be great if she could cash this, but that is a little short. This final tunnel is... It's brutal. Yeah, it's rough, man. And it's really hard to scramble out of as well. Look at Holland going for birdie. Oh, <laughs> she loved it. <laughs> no. That was a lot of left side chains. Pretty cool that she had a bid. So, All right, we're out of spoiler land. Did anyone get this one? No birdies. No yeah. Birdies. That doesn't surprise me. It, it honestly surprised me that someone got six. I didn't think anyone would get either of these. Yep. Only 17 pars out of the 53 competitors. Oh, dang. An Kristen hour. comes up short on her bogey bid. Yeah, our feature card struggling a little bit. Showing us why the third woods hole is so difficult. <laughs> Those woods really uh, shook out all of the opportunities to do rare birds. So hopefully there's another one. I've got one prepared. Oh, great. Let's get it together, ladies. Mm -hmm. Matt is prepped. Yep. Dang, couple doubles, Holland, <laughs> easy par. Holland's business face. I know. Kills me every time. Yep. I feel like with her sunglasses too, like she needs one of those secret service wires. Yeah, but her hat's a little bit sideways, so she never looks that serious. <laughs> it's like a business face with like, you know, like a 90s hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. One more hole on the front nine of Harvey Pinnock Disc Golf Course. 510 feet. This was 18 last year. Uh, they made a couple little changes that I like. Shortened the tee pad right a little mm -hmm. bit and clocked it around more to the right. Yep. So you're throwing right at the screen, hysering towards the OB line. You can see that the drone flies over here. Your second shot has to cross this little narrow neck area. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to land here in the head. <laughs> Um, there is out of bounds on the cart path and on the right hand side. So don't come in hot and get any sort of crazy rolly stuff. Um, you can also roll downhill because it slopes from Tournament Central down towards the rest of the fairway. This is the mistake you don't want to make here. Uh, it was a right to left crosswind. So you, oh, I think she th that looks like a really s slow speed disc. Let me check. Okay, so I that think, was maybe on purpose. Um, yeah, Z Swirl Challenger. So she just threw a putter and she was probably a little bit more left than she wanted, but. That strong right to left, as Madison said, was just sending discs out of bounds. Yeah, and pushing them kind of down, even on a hyzer angle. It was really weird. Yeah, you can see it just did it with Valerie's. Also, could you tone down the technical talk? I don't know if anyone could follow <laughs> your drone flyover. So sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll quit, I'll quit throwing with the jargon. over the knees and toes of the hole. <laughs> And that was a really typical result today. The wind just shoving it over. And we saw Valerie go over that green, but that's a risky play as well, even with the wind. Age with a big shot here. Looks like it has all the power it needs to get across the green. Oh, oh man. Out. man but if, if you're going to go out of bounds, it is great to go yep. OB deep. So I kind of, that I like that play. Respect. Yeah. Because now she is a how, really easy up and down. Totally. Look how hard this is from Holland. Mm -hmm. Again, throwing into a right to left. And no. that never crossed in bounds. Yeah, no chance. So Holland's not going to be able to progress very far. Yeah, she was every bit of 300 feet. You think so? From, yeah, maybe a little less than that, but it's uphill. Less. Yeah, I would, ooh, a little slip there. I would say closer to 250, uh, but uphill. And what a great shot, even with that slip from Holland. The It did rain this morning, so the ground was pretty wet. Um, I would say that the earlier cards had to deal with the ground conditions a little bit more, and the later cards had to deal with the wind conditions a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Look at this from wow. Valerie. Wow. A technical queen. <laughs> We love that. Okay. That was beautiful. Everyone, please adopt that. That is great. <laughs> God, that was so good with this win, too. Kristen going at it with more of a hyzer line. It's definitely in danger, but it checks oh, up. Oh, my gosh. Just barely. Pin high. This whole 
absolutely wrecked people last year. It did. And it's this year... slightly easier this year. Yeah, it, it averaged at 0.87 over par, so almost a full stroke. 58% of the field got a bogey or worse. There were only six birdies. So better, but not... Yeah. It's easier to save par, I think, with the angle of the drive and where it goes OB, but this was just a horrible win to attack it today. Like, I wonder how many people went out of bounds on their tee shot. Here's Paige for a par save. And I bet almost everyone went out of bounds on their second shot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that second shot's so brutal. They're, they're yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're far back, it's rough. Paige and Holland both struggling on the green a little bit here, trying to recover. Kristen able to save par. This year, though, we get three of the three hardest holes out of the way and the front nine, and then you still have to <laughs> pull up your pants and play nine more holes. Why were they down? Nothing. Oh, God. <laughs> Dang. Hmm. Double from Holland puts her at two over. Valerie finishing with the birdie. Uh, but one over. I feel like we didn't talk about Valerie's birdie enough. It was really impressive. So impressive. Um, and Kristen saving the par there. Again, one of only six birdies on the day. Evelina and Kat Merch tied for the lead at three down. Juliana Corver, Katrina Allen, Own Scoggins, Holly Finley, Henna Bloomers all tied for third. Wow, at two down. Um, only the top 11 competitors under par currently. I thought there would be more, but again, tough conditions. Yeah, we we had really strong win last year, and it um, did a number on the FPO field. This year is no different, but it thankfully does not get much worse than it is right now. Mm -hmm. um, and thankfully, we again, we were worried about storms, and we did not have to worry about weather delays today. So we do get to watch a full nine more holes on the first day of this event. So come hang with us. Um, I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two hockeys. Hawks.